Hello, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, a certified astrologer, and um, in this segment I'll be going over um, Vedic astrology, um, explaining a bit more about something called nakshatras. Let's go ahead and get started. Nakshatras are actually known as lunar mansions, they're constellations, um, and there happens to be 27 of them. Uh, and as the story goes, uh, there are 27 uh, lunar mansions, and um, the moon wanted to spend more time in one of the lunar mansions, more so, or one of the wives, 27 wives, than the other. Um, and due to this, uh, the, the, this um, individual gave him a curse that he would have to, um, he would have to give up his light for, um, the rest of the rest of the month um, when there is no full moon so um, the way each nakshatra is divided up is um, four um, badas and um, badas means um, segments um, and then so the first segment is uh, dharma uh, which means principles um, and that's typically in the fire sign so this is related to self-esteem body cognition thinking abilities um, and then um, Bada too is um, earth or um, material resources um, earth sign uh, money uh, money materialistic life um, and then you have um, Bada three um, which is desires uh, gamma uh, which is an air sign so this includes love friendship marriage um, and also business deals um, uh, in other words, uh, business deals are made up of partnerships. Uh, and then uh, Bada 4 is uh, moksha, or liberation. This is the highest state of attainment um, in Hinduism. Um, and this is through water signs, um, good knowledge, intuition, uh, spirituality, and esoteric practices. So each of these Badas are actually what comprises the 27, uh, which comprises each of the um, segments of Badas, the four Badas um, make up one nakshatra. So um, each nakshatra, if you divide 360 by 27, you get uh, roughly uh, 13 out of that. So each nakshatra is about 13 degrees, um, and then you can divide it up uh, further into Badas. An example of a lunar mansion, um, the first one is um, Ashwini, and it's interesting because uh, this is a very swift, fast, um, sort of um, agility sort of uh, lunar mansion. And the reason is that uh, Vishwa Swat, um, who's the um, father of um, Ashwini, um, he was actually um, a form of the sun god. Um, so seven horses um, drew his chariot, and um, so as you can tell, um, she was uh, given some of the same similar boons um, as um, her father. So um, in Hindu, um, Hindu names are actually um, uh, given by the particular bada that the ascendant is in. So for instance, my uh, ascendant is in the lunar mansion uh, Uttara Sadha and uh, I'm not sure of my um, Bada. Um, depending on that my name um, is a certain way and not the other. So the Aries, um, if you think about uh, Aries sign, um, you think about it's comprised of, of four Padas um, and then four padas of um, Harini, which is the next uh, nakshatra, um, and then um, Kritika, uh, one part. So what this is, is um, Aries comprises of all of these padas. Um, and uh, yeah, all, uh, so four padas of Ashwini, four padas of Parini, um, Parani, um, um, Parini, and then Kritika, one pad. So um, here I'm talking about the um, ninth harmonic or divisional, ninth divisional chart. 
And what this represents is that um, this is a spiritual um, side of um, the main birth chart. Um, another thing to remember is that if the planet is in the same house in the um, main chart versus the uh, divisional ninth or ninth harmonic chart, if it's in the same house, then it's known as uh, Varguttama. And that means um, an increase of the um, power of the um, sign and, and the combination. Um, now, if there's um, auspicious um, planets, planetary bodies, then this will provide um, an increase in that. Now, if there's a, a malefic or a debilitated, then that will decrease the amount of um, luck or anything that you have. And then finally, we'll be looking at the 27 lunar mansions. Um, and then uh, those lunar mansions are known as, known as nakshatras, like I said in the beginning. And if you divide 360 into 27, you get 13.3 degrees. Um, and I explained to you about the Virguttama. Um, so um, if you think about the um, each of the lunar mansions, then remember, um, it's uh, comprised of um, nine mothers in, in each house. Um, so that's um, that's all for um, trying to look at all of the calculations, um, understanding um, the night nakshatras, and then understanding um, the power of buddhas. Um, I hope this has given you some insight. Thank you for listening.